What's going on, everybody? Welcome to the Power 5 for the NFL Divisional Round. I am the appropriately named Brian Power, and on today's show, I'll let you know how the lines are moving for this weekend's games and why. Plus, which teams to sell high and buy low on, and the team total you need to be betting this weekend. But first, as we always do here on the show, we're going to bring up the wagertalk.com odd screen to see how the market is moving, and we're going to cover every game here. For Saturday... Looks like we've got two trendy underdogs, don't we? Uh, both getting nine and a half points. Houston at Baltimore and Green Bay at San Francisco. Even hearing that the sports books have significant money line liability with the Packers. Pretty rare that the books need the top two teams in the NFL to both cover as big favorites, but that looks like it's going to be the case on Saturday. Now, the action for the respective totals for Saturday's two games could not be more different. The under has taken heavy money for Texans-Ravens. It's going to be cold, snowy, windy, just like it is here in Cleveland. I'm looking out the window. We're dealing with near blizzard-like conditions today on Friday as we're recording. But for this Texans-Ravens total, the number has dropped from 46.5 to 43.5. As for Packers-Niners, the number remains at 50.5, but the majority of money and tickets are are coming in on the over. Now let's move to Sunday. Tampa Bay is the underdog that the sports books will be rooting for this weekend. That's because Detroit's taken money and has moved from minus five and a half to minus six and a half. At one point, Circa even hung a seven. We've also started to see some late movement on the total, which has moved from 48 and a half to 49. Rounding out the divisional round is the only game of the weekend with a spread below six and a half points. The Bills continue to hold steady at minus two and a half. But the total's down a point, 46.5 to 45.5. I really don't have much of a read on Chiefs' bills. I've got to be honest with you. But I'll point out, each of the last five meetings between these teams all took place in Kansas City. The Bills won all three regular season meetings, but the Chiefs were 2-0 and in playoff matchups, including the infamous game two years ago that changed the overtime rules in the league. Uh, also, you've probably heard this by now, this is the first true road game that Patrick Mahomes has ever had to play in the playoffs, although a few years ago in the Super Bowl against Tampa Bay, that was technically a road game. It was played in Tampa Stadium, but it was during the COVID year where there was not a full stadium, so I'm not sure if that really counts. Okay, now that we've run through how the market is moving, let's talk about which teams to maybe sell high and buy low on this weekend. For sell high, I want to talk about the Packers. The fact that the public is lining up to bet this team on the money line as a nine and a half point dog against the best team in the NFL is a little odd to me. Now, I had the Packers plus seven and a half last week at Dallas, but the 49ers have a much better coaching staff than the Cowboys and should be able to put up points on what remains a suspect Green Bay defense. I'm going to have more on that later in our Power Play of the Week segment. Which team should you buy low on this weekend? The Bucks. I cashed them Monday night at home. While that was more about fading the Eagles, do we really believe the Bucks are three points worse on a neutral field than the Rams? Because that's what this line implies. And remember, if not for red zone inefficiency, the Rams could have beaten the Lions last week. Remember, the Rams settled for field goals on all three drives into the that they got in the red zone, while the Lions scored touchdowns on all three of their red zone possessions. That was the difference in the game. Yet, Still ended up just being a one-point game, 24-23. I know Tampa Bay is everyone's least favorite playoff team, but you should buy low on them again this week. Please let me know which teams you're buying low and selling high on for the NFL Divisional Round this weekend. You can do so by dropping a comment down below, and feel free to smash that like button if you agree with my choices. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Wage Talk YouTube channel so you can be instantly alerted as to when the Power 5 drops every week along with all of our other outstanding sports betting content. Here is your stat of the week. Number one seeds are just 10, 25, and 1 against the spread in the divisional round of the playoffs. And eight times in that span, they've gone 0-2 against the spread. Only twice have they both covered. So maybe the public is onto something taking the Texans and Packers Saturday. Before we get to the power play of the week, I do want to take a minute to let you know I am number one on the Wage Talk leaderboard over the last seven days. 19-9 and nine all sports run for yours truly. And furthermore, I'm number one in ROI since December 1st. 
and up 89.6 units since early November. It's been a great run, guys. It's been a great two months. And most impressive of all is the fact I am on a 21-5 and run with best bets since Christmas. That's all plays rated 4% or higher. My best bet for the divisional round, currently posted on my page, wt.buzz backslash BP. I'd also implore you to try the three-day all-access option, as that way you get all of my playoff selections, plus all releases in college basketball, NBA, and soccer for the weekend. Normally, that would cost you 69 bucks, but if you use coupon code TAKE20 at checkout, you could save 20% off that price. One more time, that's TAKE20, T-A-K-E-2-0. All right, here's what you've been waiting for, your power play of the week, and it's on San Francisco over its team total of 30 and a half. I just think the Packers are going to struggle to get stops in this game. Dallas scored 32 on them last week. Yes, a lot of that was garbage time. But don't forget the Bucs put up 34 on the Packers defense. The Panthers, yes, the Panthers scored 30 against Green Bay late in the year. Maybe Jordan Love and this resurgent Green Bay offense could push the Niners a little bit. Probably need that to happen so San Francisco keeps scoring to get over this team total. But the bottom line is this. I think San Francisco is scoring at least 31 points Saturday night over 30 and a half. 49ers team total is your power play of the week. Remember last week's power play was the over in the Packers-Cowboys game. That does it for the Power 5 for the NFL Divisional Round. Check me out on X, formerly Twitter, at BrianPower underscore wins. Until next time, let's catch some tickets.